Alright. 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 Rock a lock in. So, we got the scarf and we got the bucket. Yay, scarves. Everybody needs scarves. It's Canada. Yay, buckets. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Buckets, sure. Buckets. Haha, <laughs> uh, he's still frozen. Sucker. Oh my god, it's like he kicked the bucket. Ha 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 ha. If only. Oh, the snowman might be cold, you know, how he's made out of yeah, snow and whatnot. Snow. Yeah, have a bucket. Cool, a bucket. I love buckets. Sweet. It's oh, man. It's like, this is where I have to go. Awesome. The door. It has opened. Yay! Boom! Save! Because I don't trust myself from not dying. <laughs> you must be prepared for the cold weather, right? Always. <laughs> Exclamation mark. It's a very alarmed button. This button has been alarmed. Oh god, is this guy trying to lick me again? No. Ew. Ew. No means no. To be lit. <laughs> so is this like one of the last bosses or one of one of one of the many well there's this guy Whoever this guy is, and it's I want to say Bowser after this. I'm not sure though. It's been such a long time since I've played this game. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even pre-play it or anything. They both seem to say that they're both not lying. <laughs> and the ghost guy is 100% legit, so don't even worry about that guy. No. It's <laughs> You fought us plan. Let's fight! Let's fight. <laughs> Kick the ass. Oh, I will. I believe in you from the beginning. Ah, uh, you can't do anything. <laughs> now you can't stop me. Kill yourself. So many options. Why are you using the little sun thing? It's hideous and useless. I'm not. I was just upgrading it because the other ones are as equally useless as him. <laughs> oh, dude. oh, wait, Trim, guess what I just found? What? 
Uh, that video I took when we were at Wonderland? Yeah. Where you had that little dinosaur on a stick? Because that was, yeah, I still have that. What, the dinosaur on a stick? Yeah. Nice. Though, you still have to come up and visit me in order to get your gift. Your gift day. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll try. Hurry up about it already. I'm an adult. Man, he's like albino and whatnot. Punch him in the duke. Now, if you take these items, a wall props up and blocks your path. I remember mm. that. Shenanigans. A mysterious explosive wall. Oh. It has a crack in it. It must be able to be blown up, and it definitely isn't load bearing or anything. I have no idea why I went there. Who only knows? Come on, Mario. I believe in you. Do I have to go in here? One can only assume that there is an opening for a reason. Brew. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh my god. I love how, um, Bo doesn't look impressed at all. <laughs> He's just like, you know what? Whatever. I don't even care. Do you guys care? Because I don't. <laughs> I could have done that if I was in control a lot sooner. <laughs> I would have done it immediately without any hesitation. Just give it to you, it's fine. Here, you need this to continue. Take it. It's, it's all yours. If you can handle it. Ooh. Oh, I can handle it alright. Take it deep. My word. Star stone. So how's the new cat doing? Uh, I've never seen two cats be faster friends, to be honest. That's good. Yeah, I know. They get along insanely well. However, Paul is still kind of a big jerk face. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Not to mention Phantom won't stop referring to Paul as a male when Paul is in fact female. <laughs> Shenanigans. I have no idea what that badge was, so I'm going to look. <laughs> Let's do things and look. It was mega jump. Hmm. I'm going to... Ooh, not word. Yeah, 
Actually, yeah, that's probably a better idea. Doom. There we go. Yay! Hooray! Hooray! So, in my apartment now, I was looking around for a phone charger. Mm -hmm. It turns out we have like 106 phone chargers in this <laughs> house. Really? Any well, not, not necessarily. <laughs> Any particular reason or no? Good question. Um, no, well, essentially, like, they're not necessarily phone chargers. They're mini USBs. Mm -hmm. But there's just like so many of them. So many phone chargers. I know, I was quite happy about it. That's good. Means if you lose one, you have no one to blame but yourself. <laughs> if for some reason you can't charge your phone, that's your problem. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Oh, this must be a really confusing room. Oh, this is a very confusing palace. It's, is it as bad as that third palace in the light world in Link to the Past? I don't recall that one. You should. Is it the pits or is it the maze? Yep, pits. No. There was that maze one. That maze one has always been my least favorite. Mm. With those dudes who shoot fire at their mouths. Yeah. As opposed to shooting fire out of any other orifice, which I would generally not appreciate. Maybe yeah, just a little bit weird. Yeah. Not my thing. I should fire out of my nipples, huh? <laughs> Sweet! Why? It's, uh, huh. <laughs> my really question. Hmm. Why? Why do you do that? Do you have reason? Did your daddy not love you enough? Why did you evolve this ability? Why? Oh, why? I should fire out of my nipples. Oh, that must be hard to break to anybody that you're dating. Unless they also do it. Mm. Then it's just highly convenient. I don't know how frequently we would do that. You know what? Uh, more frequently than you would think. <laughs> just gonna say that right now. I think you're just making shit up. <laughs> when am I not? I'll, I'll be honest here. Oh, I need to put... Oh, I'm very excited. I ordered custom gauntlets. I'm pretty excited about them. Gauntlets? Gauntlets. Like metal kind or? Fabric kind. I'm not going to run around town with like... Man, that'd be so badass. Wow. When, when somebody says gauntlets, I think metal. <laughs> well, fair enough. But I just consider anything that's worn around that area to be a gauntlet. Especially when it laces up like mine do. So winter mitten is a gauntlet? No, a mitten doesn't go up that far. A mitten gauntlet. should only go to the top of your like the top of your wrist, right at the base of your hand. I don't know what kind of mittens you're wearing. And plus it doesn't cover my hands or my fingers. I see. You know what? I'm from the East Coast. I don't need to justify anything to you, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You don't have to justify it. That doesn't mean I'm not going to be confused. But hey, that's not hard to do. Yeah, that's more of a standard mood. Love you. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm being too mean to you. No. And then I insult you again and feel just fine. Good. I know. Yeah. But I'm glad we, we feel that way. <laughs> we feel that way. It's like if you think you're being mean, just be meaner. It'll all go away soon. <laughs> Quiet now. Things will only get better. <gasps> no more tears, only dreams. Okay, so that's... Hmm. Are you turned around already? No, just reorienting myself. Figuring things out. So what's the difference between being lost and reorienting yourself? Uh, lost, you have absolutely no idea where you're going. Reorienting yourself is when 
you currently are confused about your situation, but figure it out. Man, you're confused so much. Bombette, please. Go up, up this, conspicuous, con this conspicuous wall. This isn't weird at all. It's, it's okay, go kill yourself, it's cool. I believe in you. Go get her, champ. Not Coins that I will never use. Yay! Well, maybe you should be contributing to the economy. I mean, God. Screw that. <laughs> Whoa! We better kill him. I know. That doesn't sound like something Mario would say. No, they said that. No, I know. That's the. the that's the joke. Oh, I see. Yay! Is this by me? They're just ghosts. Don't worry. They can't hurt you if you don't believe in them. I don't know if that's true. Because <laughs> I feel like if something exists, like, if I didn't, let's say, believe in cobras, I still feel like one could hurt me. Yeah, well, so far, at least in my world, I, my logic is correct. I don't believe in ghosts, and I've yet to be hurt by one, so... Mm -hmm. They're getting to you. <laughs> They're saving you for that. Oh, okay, so I'm in line. I'm like seven billionth in line. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay with that. It's going to take a while and I think I'll see it coming. <laughs> Man, there seems to be a rash of ghost deaths. <laughs> Man, people keep on just suddenly dying for some reason. In huh. circumstances. Perhaps I... Don't know, I honestly, <laughs> even if you saw it coming, what would you do? Um, well, if I was the last person on, on Earth, I'd probably try to kill myself before before the ghosts got me. And <laughs> then, like, laugh maniacally as I do the, so. The ghost it's like, ha ha You will not get me! I will get myself! <laughs> you become a ghost and just start fucking with them? Be like, oh, am I still alive? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what being like being a ghost is like. It's overrated. Man, you guys suck. <laughs> what lamos? <laughs> Give me your lunch money, nerds. <laughs> Just go jock for some reason. I don't know. I could totally do it. Totally. Totally. S so good. So fat so, so good. Oh, I actually had a really cool discussion. I'm pretty sure we probably covered this at one point. But I was having a discussion with a friend of mine. Yes. Um. If you had to choose any supernatural creature to be, like any fiction, anything like that, what would you choose? Mm. It's a toughie because there's a lot of fiction out there. Now, okay. What what fiction am I limited to? You're not limited. Not limited at all. Yeah. You want to be the strongest hunter and the top of your food chain. You have to be able to like provide your own sustenance and whatnot. Hmm. hmm. Oh, I have. It's hard. No, I know what I want to be. It's just it's. I don't know. Is it a fairy? No. It's not a fairy. <laughs> no. Why? Is it bad if it is? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right? I, I always ask the tough question. No, I don't know the name of it. Well, what does it do? It's an amorphous blob that turns into whatever the heck it wants and remain, uh, maintains sentience. Like a shapeshifter type thing? Yeah. But instead of being an amorphous blob? 
Well, you would never be the amorphous ball. You would never remain as an amorphous blob. You'd turn into whatever the heck you wanted. And you have the okay. advantage of being an amorphous blob, and therefore, <laughs> like, you get stabbed. Oh no! My goo! Oh darn! My Such a shame! I'm bleeding goo. Um, I don't recall that from any work of fiction unless you mean the oh, blob. Oh! Uh, the T-1000. There you oh. go. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> or, um, uh, that, uh, the thing. The thing, that's another one. Like Stephen King? No. Maybe. Oh, you mean the thing like John Carpenter's the thing? Yeah, I, I'm terrible with those names. I'm the one where Stephen King is the writer with the clown. Then no, not that. Um, so the alien type thing? Yeah, we saw it in theaters, or at least the the prequel. Oh, the prequel. The prequel. Yeah, yeah, that thing. That's what yeah. I was referring to. John Carpenter did that originally. Okay, sure. Yeah, I yeah. Let's let's go with that. Fair enough. Except like, again, like, you have to ask the question like. If I am the thing or it or whatever it's called, I'm. Do I remain sentient? You would still be. Well, the thing is a living creature. Yeah, it's true, but it has. So you would maintain sentience, but it just maybe you don't know. Maybe the thing operates on a level that is beyond what you operate on. That's true. So if you're asking if you maintain your own sentience, well, the thing is that it might be smarter and be able to think faster than you. That's how it survives, tipping. So it depends. Do you want to be sentient in your terms of sentience, or do you want to be sentient in the actual objects in terms of sentience? This is in the must be made. Hmm. I. I, 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 yeah, I think if I maintained my own consciousness, I would want to be the thing. Mm -hmm. I, could, I, I could have the most fun with that. What, killing people and then turning them against each other? No. Turning into whatever the heck I wanted. What would you turn into first? I have no idea. <laughs> whatever the deuce I wanted. <laughs> I now have the ability to transform into anything. I'm gonna become a fire stool. What? Yeah. I don't judge you on what you wanna do, you big amorphous blob. You know uh, what I chose? What? Cthulhu. That, yeah, fair enough. But I wouldn't wanna operate on my own brain level, I would wanna operate on Cthulhu's because clearly my mind can't comprehend the immeasurable horror that I would be. So I told be, you know, Eldritch Horror. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, so, um, I completely forgot to put a timer on this. So, I'm just gonna call that an episode. We regardless, talked about some deep stuff. Regardless of how short it actually is, or how long. <laughs> so, it happened. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that real quick. <laughs> okay, have a good one.